Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be going through some sad plants and some happy plants so that I can kind of do a little bit of a comparison and show you guys because I think that's quite entertaining. <laughs> to really see the difference between the two and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video idea if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and yeah let's just jump right into today's video we're joined by Bobo my cat doesn't want to face the camera today so he's just gonna be over there and um hope you enjoy I think I will start off with some the ugly version and then I'll kind of transition to the nicer one which is I think really funny so first we'll start off with uh, this one not too bad honestly I didn't want to scare you off with like dead plants so this is my Tradescantia Nanook honestly it's not growing the best if you look at these leaves here they're not looking too hot and it's just getting a little bit leggy some of the leaves at the base of the plant is also dying off so it's looking a little bit bare you can't really tell as much but it, it used to have like double the amount of leaves and um yeah this one is just snapped right off so <laughs> that's a little sad it's getting a little bit crispy a little bit brown which is making it not as cute so yeah this one is the Tradescandia nanook which has some purpley I really like the backs of these leaves it's like nice and purple pinkish if you gave it enough light and it's thriving I'm sure it would look a lot nicer but in this case it is not it is not that cute but I wanted to show you guys this one which is the Tradescantia tricolor look how cute this guy is so as you may or may not know I got this as like maybe like a three or four leaf cutting and it has grown so large and it's so beautiful there's some greens there's some pinks there's some creams they're just so amazing and i really like how this is paired up in this planter i kept this one for myself because i found the back like the face looks really toasty like it got burnt or something like that which i i mean i don't mind it because it's just for myself but i wouldn't particularly sell this on my website on my Etsy shop so yeah I just kept it for myself and planted my beautiful tricolor in here and I think it looks so much cuter compared to this leggy boy right what do you guys think if you were to compare it I think this looks so much better this one's also my mom's plant and this one's mine <laughs> but yeah very very cute I really like this plant it's one of my faves honestly okay, moving along we'll um, show you guys this one which is real sad <laughs> this one is the peperomia prostrata like what is that 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 is a dead piece that has shriveled up and turned black <laughs> but this plant oh my god it has so many spots of brown I think it got sunburned initially and now it's just covered in dust and it looks like it's on its last leg although the leaves have decided to not fall off some of them like the backs of these leaves shouldn't look like that <laughs> it's looking so bad so this is supposed to be a very easy peperomia and I don't even know how it got to this point literally I haven't looked at it for a little bit and it turned to this honestly it's also my mom's plant it lives in the kitchen on the windowsill facing a south facing window so likely too much sun it didn't like it and it turned to that but if you were to compare to something that is thriving it's this peperomia it's a peperomia obtusifolia but this one is the variegated version and look at how stunning this is this has grown so bushy and it's so nice and yet what the heck <laughs> isn't it so funny like maybe this has some type of infestation that literally needs to depart from this home but this one this one is thriving it has so many new leaves all the new ones are at the top as you can see it's a little bit lighter in color and then the bottom has like the more mature leaves and it's just doing really really well I think this one looks really nice my mom loves peperomias so we have a lot of peperomias in the home in the kitchen and they're supposed to be nice easygoing plants but don't overwater them don't give them too much sun because they will not like it this one doing great doing great things and I wanted to compare it with another plant that looks kind of similar 
to what a healthy Peperomia obtusifolia should look like and I would say it's a Hoya obovata. So this one is also doing really well. It has the round leaves that are similar to the obtusifolia but this one is a Hoya and it also has like I would say more splashiness. The other Peperomia does not is not splashy in any way whatsoever. It's kind of more just green, it's round, that's the only similarities I found. But I just really wanted to show you guys this Hoya because it's doing really well. It um, suffered a really bad fall last winter where some of the leaves got snapped, some of the roots broke off, and now it's uh, regrown back a lot of it and it looks really good. It lives in a really low light situation, really pulled back from a north facing window and it doesn't mind it at all for some reason and it still does really good. So yeah, I have this one paired up with the gingerbread man planter that I have that's still available on my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. Really like this one. It's hand carved, hand glazed, hand painted, and hand thrown. So all the things that are handmade. Yeah, hope you guys like it. And yeah, that one is the uh, Hoya. It's a Hoya Obovada. Next up, I do want to talk about this little baby. Also another Peperomia. Chunk fell off right now. <laughs> okay, this is my Peperomia Hope. Honestly, it is not doing great. Like. If you look at some of the other leaves, they're growing in really, really tiny and um, also having some of that spotting issue. So I really do believe that it's just getting way too much sun and the top is quite bare. So it's not growing nicely. Maybe the growth pattern is just not that cute. Maybe it's just this plant or maybe it has root rot. It could be all of the above, to be honest. But yeah, not looking too great. But if I were to compare it to something nice and happy and thriving, I would say it's my Hoya Matild. So, ooh, let's see if I could hold this. Yeah. As you can see, definitely some similarities. It has some round leaves, some really beautiful, kind of just circly, and um, could trail if I wanted it to. But in this case, I have it trellised up. So I think it looks really nice if you were to compare the two. You could definitely see this one's doing a lot better and looks a lot nicer, healthier. And then this one is like a scraggly mess. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, um, just because plants are ugly doesn't mean you should not love them. And in this case, unless it's like fully dead, I don't think it ends up in the trash can for us. So yeah, this one is... Hoya Matilde doing great things. It is growing really well. It is thriving and um, couldn't be happier. Am I on to my last one? Yeah, on to the last one. This one is <laughs> a sad little cactus that has literally shriveled up and is covered. And when I say covered, I mean covered in mealybugs. So you can literally see the mealybugs on like the little spikes. I don't know if you guys can see, but this one is not coming back. I'm pretty sure it has root mealies, it is fully deflated, it looks dehydrated and flat and brown and a lot of dust too. So it's not doing great. And yeah, this one is heading to the garbage the moment I am done with this video. So <laughs> at least I will put it out of its misery and I don't have to look at it anymore. But this one is sort of a cactus. It's a euphorbia. It's not really a cactus, but I don't really have that many cacti in my collection that are, I don't know, round. <laughs> this one isn't spiky, but this one is my euphorbia obisa. Very cute. It still looks really symmetrical. Mm. Pouring rocks everywhere. This one's also really low maintenance, and I think it looks really, really cute. Looks like a baseball. And I think it's starving. So I've had this one for, I would say, a year and a half now, and it hasn't really um, grown, <laughs> but it also hasn't died. So this one, we've had it for a much shorter time, and it has turned to this versus this. So uh, that pretty much concludes today's video. I thought, I hope you guys found it kind of entertaining in some way, just to see kind of like the differences between plants that could have looked similar, but ended up going down completely different paths so one obviously was thriving and is growing really well and is green is lush it's beautiful and then the other plant is literally on its deathbed and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video 
and uh, we're joined here by my cat Bobo which didn't even want to say hi to the camera very rude but we'll forgive him because he just came out of cat hospital and is um, recovering so maybe a little bit camera shy so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video comment down below if you have, if you guys have any plants that are literally dying I would love to know because it would make us feel less alone my mom and I and I would really appreciate it. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.